All right. Thank you, guys. The Oldenburg Baskets take on BG Gottingen, and that's going to be a 10.30 a.m. Eastern tip-off. The Baskets are the 8.5-point favorite. Totals 164.5. And if you like Gottingen in an upset, they're plus $3 for an outright win. And following Monday's sports wagering action, I'm proved to 9-0 in my last nine extra daily pick tier package plays on patreon.com slash rockpage. Of course, that's a website where I sell really great sports pick subscriptions beginning at just $1.99 through the end of the month. Now, the daily extra pick is one of those packages that I sell on that website, as I'm also 14-3 and in my last 17 picks in that category as well. And that's good for 82% over the course of the past two and a half weeks or so in that package. I also have a bunch of different, uh, you know, great memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. And if you just want to check out the website a little bit, maybe browse, uh, check out my current record. It's located right on the homepage. And the link for that site is in the description section below. That's patreon.com slash uh, Brock Page. Now, Gottingen's coming off a double-digit victory over Crailsheim in their last outing. They've also won their last five straight, holding their opponents to just 85 points per game during that stretch. They're also taking on an Oldenburg squad who's lost two out of their last three, averaging just 73 points per contest during that short span. And they can see her running by in the reflection. Anyway, they've also been victorious in just two out of their last seven, which includes non-league action during that span as well. Now, scoring-wise, three out of the baskets last six got over the total of 164.5. Meanwhile, Gottingen on the other side saw their last six straight get over that number themselves. Give me the underdogs, BG Gottingen, plus 8.5, and, and the over 164 and a hook in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video. Got some lines of personalines out for Wednesday's basketball action. And as you can tell with all the noise in the background over, I guess, the past couple months or so, uh, everybody's at home. Everybody's been at home. I've been at home. The wife's working from home. Uh, the, the kid, no school, he's at home. So anyway, that's why you, you've seen all the, uh, crazy action in the background. But anyway, guys, I'm nine and oh, my last nine extra daily pick premium plays on patreon.com slash Brock page. And of course, that's a website where I sell really great sports pick subscriptions beginning at just $1 and 99 cents through the end of the month. There's also a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to on that website. Now, one of those packages is called the Extra Daily Pick Tier Membership. It's only $2.99 through the end of the month. And in addition to going 9-0 in my last 9 in that package, I'm also hitting at 14-3 in my last 17 picks in that category as well. And that's good for 82% over the past two and a half weeks or so in that category. I strongly recommend you at least consider using the website for sports picks. We're red hot right now. They're my personal plays, games that I personally have action on. And once again, guys, that's patreon.com slash page. And with that, let's go ahead and move on. We're going to take a look at Ratio Farm Ulm taking on the Krausheim Merlins, and that's going to be a 2.30 p.m. Eastern start time. Ulm's the 15 and a half point favorite, totals 170 and a hook. And if you like the Merlins in this contest here, they're plus $7 for some money line cash. Now the Merlins are coming off two straight double digit losses. They lost to Bayern Munich by 31, along with lo losing to Gottingen by uh, the final of 89 to 78. They are taking on an Ulm team who's coming fresh off a double digit victory themselves. They beat the Baskets by 19 points earlier, uh, actually this morning. They uh, actually held the Baskets to just 15 points in the third quarter alone. They also beat a very good Bayern Munich squad, 95-85, which actually makes their last two victories by double digits themselves. Their 3-1 record in their last four is good for 75% during that very short span. And when it comes to the total in this one, Three out of Ohm's last four stayed under the total of 170 and a half. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Merlins averaged just 82 points per contest in their last three themselves. Give me Ratio Farm Ohm minus 15 and a half and the under 170 and a half in that game. 